Hello and welcome to Dude Let's Talk, hosted by Evan Stone, Omar Johnson, and Spencer Goolsby, where we explore the depths of the male experience, celebrate stories of resilience and personal growth, and challenge people to embrace change in rewriting their stories. Let's get started. Now let me explain something to you guys, man. My core emotion is anger. Dude. Would you already start? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You didn't. I didn't <laughs> I see did. a countdown. I did. I counted down. Oh, that's the way we start the episode. Hey, yeah. everybody. How are you guys doing? Tonight? <laughs> yeah. My number one thing is anger, according to this. Ooh, welcome to Dude Let's Talk. Yeah, hey. Have you ever had a maple bar? <laughs> <All right. laughs> bacon? Did you guys see a maple bar this month? Do you remember that dog commercial? It was like, bacon? Bacon? Mm-hmm. Bacon? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. That was that's, a classic. Yeah, dude. it was. That's exactly what I sounded like <laughs> on that after party session just <laughs> yeah. now. But you were 85 years old talking about maple bar <laughs> with my pocket 1872. protector. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever had uh, maple bars? Maple bar? <laughs> <laughs> you like maple bars. What's funny is you never answered my question. I have never have. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, that was the first time I ever heard of that. Oh, my boy Omar over here has. I, I have. Um, no, I just am, with you. Well, no. I actually have heard of a maple bar. I, they're not my favorite. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. Really. Um, I know. <laughs> it's all good. Now, I'm more for you, dude. Next time you yeah, order donuts. So my favorite, my favorite are the fritters, apple fritters. Dude, one thousand yeah, percent. We are yeah. connected through you, South Africa. Yeah, no yeah. bro. My brother. Yeah, you got, there's no doubt. <laughs> I, you guys I just had one the other day, right. dude. Yeah, the, you know Spencer's the first redheaded South African to ever be produced. Hey, mm-hmm. man. Definitely on this podcast, man. <laughs> you know I mean? There better not be another one out there. <laughs> this is why I'm a three. This is, I, I feel threatened know, if, there was, if we find someone else from South Africa that looks like me. Yeah, I'm that gonna is, feel really threatened. Right. That, that's, a, that's a really three thing to say, by the way. Is it? It's a super three thing to say. Ah, and I hate odd numbers, though. This is a problem. Oh, I'm going to have to revert over to the asshole. This eight. is true. <laughs> Shots fired. Speaking Shots of which, fired. Shots fired. That's 20 bucks in, a, it in, is. The, in the donation yeah. jar. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's 20 bucks in the donation jar for yeah. you. Oh. So, uh, Someone had to break the ice, though. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. This Sorry. is why we do spitball afterwards. <laughs> yeah, not before. <laughs> yeah. But afterwards. I was still in my church mode, and then you guys split me to the dark side. Yeah, we did. And now I'm trying to come back. Yeah. Well, you guys Sorry. may be wondering why we're throwing numbers around. Uh, and what we're doing is... The three of us have made a decision to hop into this intense personality test exercise. Mm. Um, I, or actually my wife introduced it to me. Mm. Uh, we took a course that's called the Enneagram. And the purpose of the Enneagram is to give us an idea of how to better interact with people around us. Yeah. I'm actually going to read from the computer what it is because I can't memorize this. Yeah. And then you guys. Yeah, I mean, the first time you said this word to me, I was like, I don't think my primary doctor performs that kind of thing. So when you asked me to take that test. You, no, you're like, you're like, wait, am I supposed to get an annual Enneagram? Yeah, I, know, right? I thought that was for women yeah. only. Yeah. Does, you know I mean? does insurance cover this? Right. Do yeah. they give you a local? <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, I'm starting to understand. So I'll let Evan kind of kick it off of yeah. what we're talking about right now. This is actually what's funny about this is when, I, when my wife approached me about this, this is exactly. Exactly how I acted to her like two years ago. Yeah, when she did it, and she's like, "God, you stop! Just, just listen." I'm like, "Nah, no. Nah. Nope. We'll do that during the annual. Well, the next year, I'll pay attention." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm healthy right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm all good. Yeah. So what it, what it says here is the Enneagram system uses different personality types to help people better understand themselves and what motivates them. The exact origins of the Enneagram system are a bit murky, but researchers note that its roots trace back to the South American philosopher. Oh, South American or South uh, South South American, not South African. I'm an idiot. Uh. Uh, Oscar Icazo in the mid 20th century, and now uh, research in the American Journal of Psychiatry defines the system as personality theory describing nine strategies by which the psyche develops a world view and relates to self and others. So essentially, there are nine categories of of personalities. All of us exude a little bit of all of them, but we have a, a primary personality type. Yeah. And the reason that Nicole and I stepped into this is so we could better understand how we absorb information, how we, you know, exude information, and then how we can better handle each other in our personal relationship. And what it ended up doing is kind of exploding into friendships and my own professional life. And then now, like, Nicole, like, I, we'll get in, like, like an argument or, like, a, a disagreement. And I'd be like, what the hell? Like. Like make up some whatever. Like, did you yeah. see? Did you see what Cordis did? Yeah. She absolutely. She she's defiant. 
she's ridiculous. And Nicole's like, that's such a neat thing to say. Uh-huh. It's such a neat thing to say. <laughs> and she's a, she's a nine, and the nine is called the peacemaker. Thank goodness I married a peacemaker. That, that, that's perfect for you guys because yeah. you guys are complete opposite on that scale. Um, yeah, eight's the asshole of the yes. Yep. and I'm the eight, and mm-hmm. she's the peacemaker, and they're actually like the rarest. They're like the angels sent from heaven. Really? Yeah. And uh, if I hadn't have married a nine... I'd have been twice divorced. Dude, if you would have married another eight, <laughs> dude, could you imagine dude. what it would have been like if I, if, if, cause I want to, what I want to do is I want to go through each of ours. Okay. So could you, so you guys took the test, right? Yeah, yeah. I did. I took mine. Yeah. Uh, I, so since everyone threw out their number, I'm a seven. You're a seven. So, yeah. yeah. And seven is the enthusiast. It's an enthusiast, a disorganization, <laughs> heads always in the cloud. <laughs> uh, Forever the optimist, which is 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 kind of yeah. true. Like their their time. Oh oh wait, I am also bipolar, and <laughs> when it comes to that, because when I get upset, I am the perfectionist, which is very true. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, when you yeah. get upset, you're the complete opposite. Yeah. Of of what you are. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. I know. It's very bipolar. But is it true though? It is. I do find myself when I'm upset, like I, I want things to be, pristine, spot on. <laughs> mm. But if I'm in a calm state of being. You know, like, say if I'm, if I were to say cut my hair and I'm lining myself up, if I'm in a calm state of being and that lining starts to like, like go down by a quarter of an inch, eh, it's okay. That's all right. No, I'm upset. Oh, it's going to bother you. Oh, it's going to piss me off. So let me ask you a question. So if if that had been, if that scenario had been taking place when you walked in today, would you, would you have been pissed off if that was happening? Um, Or would you let it go? It it really depends. Because you had a lot on your mind, right? I, yeah, I had a lot on my mind. It, I, I guess it it really depends. Like if it's something that is bothering me, like if if it's a few things that are bothering, say the house is in disarray, and I get upset, I need the house cleaned, and like I need to get this house clean. Like it has to be, like in in tip top shape because it's it's another thing that's clouding my thoughts. Right. But if I'm a, if I'm in a calm state of being. And say Levi threw his cars on the floor, which is like, uh, I'll come back and pick it up. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's it's just that. weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. No, I thought I don't think it's weird. I just think it's it's indicative of the personality type. So the Enneagram Institute defines the seven as so they they have basic fears, basic desires. We're going to go through that for mm-hmm. everyone. And Omar's basic fear is of being deprived and in pain. Yeah, yeah. And then so I mean I know you well enough to say like I mean. From what you've exuded so far, I think that's probably pretty pretty accurate. Mm. Your basic desire is to be satisfied and content in uh, in your in your needs fulfilled, which actually we've talked about it in previous episodes uh, with regards to your your career choices mm-hmm. and making that switch. Mm-hmm. That's such a seven thing to do, man. It, it, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's it's just like I said. It's just the like I feel as though life should be interesting. Mm. You know, it should be full of joy. Yeah. I mean, of course, I understand that. It literally all... says that about that, by the way. Really? Yeah. Word for word. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, word for yeah. word. It says that you're, you're seeking um, constant, uh, your, you, uh, your key motivation is you want to maintain your freedom and happiness or sense of joy. Absolutely. And to avoid missing out on worthwhile experiences and yeah. to keep yourself excited and occupied and to avoid and discharge pain. That's true. I do not. <laughs> We're gonna get him a dude. Let's talk hoodie with the number seven on the back. <laughs> oh my god! Like a should, jersey, dude. We should. Holy, we walk around with people's numbers. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. So if you meet another dude, dude, yeah. let's talk, and they have their number. Yeah, yeah. that's sick. That You're gonna stay sick. away from the eights, though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be by yourself over there. No one's like, hey, hey yeah. talk to Evan. Yeah. Yeah. Today, oh my life. god! See an eight? That, yeah, yeah. He, he's be, working out by himself. What an eight thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, that's pretty good, man. Dude. We should actually do that. Seriously, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll get the number. Special drop. That. That'll be yeah. a special drop. Yeah. Right. yeah. Actually, that's we got to write that down. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. That's funny. I got to read. Sorry, Omar. I didn't want to start you, but I, I yeah. want to. I wanted to do is read okay. um, your examples of of who they are. So, like um, the Fourteenth Dalai Lama, Galileo, Mozart, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Amelia Earhart. <laughs> who? Wow. Amelia Earhart. <laughs> who? Who is that? She's <laughs> she she flew the spirit of uh, St. Louis. Yeah, uh, she unfortunately didn't she, make it. <laughs> yeah, she failed. She's, I think it was somewhere in the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, dude, where she, she was abducted. Out. Yeah, she Ooh. was. Yeah, she was abducted. Yeah, yeah. There's there's evidence to suggest that she she was abducted. Yeah, nothing 
that goes into the Bermuda Triangle comes back comes out. Comes back out. If it comes back out, it's not the same. Yeah. Have you seen? Have you seen? Uh, yeah. That's sh- that show. They're talking. They're yeah. the, the, there's a slight digression here, folks. We're going to have to address Sorry, this. Yeah. yeah. We we need to address this. This is important. One of the theories is is that there are noxious gases gases that are exuded from the waters of the Bermuda Triangle, thus reducing the density of the air. Right. Or, uh, I think or increasing the, the density of the air, causing the planes to fall. Yeah. No lift. Right. No lift. Right. Right. And so we're scientists. You can trust us. Yeah. 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 You can fact check that. You we can got fact this. check it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> we we actually looked up Stanford and Yale earlier. And we actually know where those are at now. So Yeah. There's somewhere here. Yale in America. looks like a castle. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Not Cambridge, uh, UK. Definitely Cambridge, Massachusetts. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. And Stanford is in Stanford. <laughs> it's in Stanford. We found that yeah. Up. Right. Yeah, those Anyways. geniuses are really creative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got them beat here in Castle Rock. I know, right? The uh but anyways. <laughs> Keep going with this side. <laughs> it's side So here's the funny thing too. Like the wisdom of the Enneagram is really interesting because it talks about the addictions too. And addictions or the propensity of addiction for sevens is to wear your body out with effort in order to stay up and feel alive. Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Welder. Yeah. What was this? What was one of the things that you said when we when we started to, when you uh, said the reason for your uh, career shift was you needed to feel that physical connection? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then wow. here comes this test. Wow. I didn't it, even use the words like I'd burn myself all day, but I love burning metal. You know what <laughs> right. I mean? So like, seriously, it's it. And I mean, it's weird. It's I mean, that is so strange that it can depict mm-hmm. personality types based mm-hmm. off of questions. And and it is it is very true. Like I have to feel, you know, completely physically, mentally depleted in order for me to be satisfied. Mm-hmm. Dude. This is starting to feel like the movie The Insurgent. Or Divergence right? or what the, you know what yeah. I'm talking about? They're classifying us all together. I yeah. Know. yeah. Except the Where'd you get this test from? Where you get this in and Where'd you get that Enneagram from? I can't even say the word. Enneagram? Freaking Spencer comes in first five minutes. He goes, Hey man, did you take the Enneagram too? Like what? <laughs> Repeat what you just said. <laughs> An anagram. An anagram. <laughs> An anagram. <laughs> Dude, when, but, the, uh, when Nicole hears this, she's gonna be like, "These three idiots." Yeah, you guys just ruined. Yeah. No one's gonna take this test ever again. No, no, take the test. It is. It is very accurate. It is very. And it's. What's the word I'm looking for? Informative. It's informative. Yeah. yeah, it is very informative because, like I said, just I did not. I read through mine, but I didn't go that deep because you know. Sevens, we get a little, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, I don't know if there's been any other form where three men have have willfully shared their numbers and then been willing to talk about it because it does get kind of personal. It does. I've I've felt negative response towards some of the some that, of the defaults of myself, right? Yeah, I mean that's a three. That's pretty three ish. Yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like this test. No but more. I, I would say, <laughs> honestly, I would say the reason for this is to embrace whatever it is. You know, mm. embrace yourself. You know, appreciate the things, appreciate the things that are good. Uh, learn from the things that are bad, and just try to change those. So that's yeah. one of the main reasons why we actually took the test is just to have self awareness, yeah. embrace yeah. growth. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I think it's the self awareness part, right? right. Yeah. So it's just the mindfulness of like just embracing who you are, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. Let's go into it's like the butterfly effect, dude. True. Like you can affect the future because now you know how to react, and then when you do that, it creates a whole new past. And mm-hmm. oh my gosh, are we like? Are we like this butterfly? podcast ain't gonna be here anymore? <laughs> Are we like Ash, Ashton Kutcher? Yeah, yeah. Right that now. was a crazy movie, dude. I know, right? That's, yeah. yeah. You ever seen the movie Shutter Island, by the way? Just off topic. With my with my boy Leonardo? Dude. Yes, I have. Was he crazy or was he not crazy? Yeah, he was crazy. He was crazy, bro. He was bad. He really? Was, yes. Yeah. Sociopathic level crazy. Bad, bad guano crazy. Yes. Yeah. I watched it like so many times and I'm like, was he set up? No, that was in his head. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. He was a real detective. You know what's funny? <laughs> in his hey, head. Hey, you yeah. know what number Leonardo DiCaprio is? <laughs> what? That boy's a seven. Is he a seven? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. That's Leonardo da Vinci. My oh, bad. No, yeah. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it sounded smart, dude. So. Yeah. Hey, but I'll tell you what. Yeah. Dude's a hell of an actor. Yeah. Okay. So They fooled me. I thought we, he was smart. We need to get into you guys. Like, yeah, yeah, get in depth into you guys' number. No, me and him's pretty close to the same. It's, no, the, we're no, going to no. we're gonna battle this one out. This is going to be a good one. I'm going to do you. I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm gonna read, read your number. Okay, There's folks, that. I'm going to go home. Yeah, all right. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. 
<laughs> My bad. That was a Freudian slip. By the way, he's a two. He's a Freudian? Yeah. Freud is. He's a two. Okay. Nice. He's a... Anyways, we're not going to go over the, the, all the types. Just We're going to go over the three here. But what we do encourage all of you to do is go to the Enneagram Institute and, and read about this and consider taking the test yourself. But uh, let's hop into Spencer's. He's a, Spencer is a three. Number three. And you're, you're the achiever. Right? Seems that way. It, what's interesting about your results is that you exuded a lot, uh, like 82 to 99% or 82 to 97% of yeah, like 90, three. 92% three and then 88% on eight. But it, it basically it says my desire to achieve Dude. is what is profound to me. And then sometimes your desire to achieve at all costs and being a, a total dick. That's where the eight comes in. <laughs> That's is, where the eight is, comes is in. the dick part. <laughs> the achievement part is three, right? Yeah. But yeah, from what I've seen, I was like, I don't know. There's a lot of negative in the three too. There's a lot of negative. Yeah. Not as much as the eight, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah. So I just like winning. Basically, it said super competitive. You know, here I read it so you yeah, can actually you make go. eye contact. Get your I didn't look cross eyed on there. Yeah, I mean, all cost. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What yours says is uh, the three is success oriented, adaptable, which is great, yep. uh, excelling, driven, and very image conscious. Yeah, yeah. You can tell. Look at you, buddy. Yeah, you look great. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Why don't you ever wear your hat forwards only backwards? Because you said I can't because the light in here. <laughs> No, before that, you just wanted to wear your hat backwards. Yeah, it's you true. I do like hat hat backwards kind of guy. Because you're because you're image conscious. Because I like to be laid back, dude. <laughs> that's no, that's 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 what you want to exude is a laid back. See now, now this is messing with my head. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's who, what eights who do, am man. I really? That's right. what eights do. Eight, eights are a holes, man. Yeah, up my... they're manipulative, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I'm gaslighting you, buddy. I'm glad oh. I know this. Now, is it working? I think it, is, I'm gonna have to look working. up a test and be like, can eights and threes actually hang out together? <laughs> <laughs> or do I need to find a, a four? No, no, we're not supposed no, to. No, we're not we, supposed oh, to hang dude, out. We're gonna have to get this to work though. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to. Eights and threes are too competitive, dude. I'm, I'm gonna need to make another studio in the closet. <laughs> yeah. I'll be there by myself. Yeah, right? you will. No, no, no. no I you will. need. To go. I, will. Yeah, I will be by myself. Is, we'll is it gonna be like, dude, I'm talking right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just have a mirror in front of you the whole time. <laughs> dude, I, dude, I'm talking right now. Well, shut, yeah. up. Yeah. shut up. Shut up. That's such an eight thing to say, man. Yeah, dude, I'm talking. <laughs> so yeah, what's what's the three's weaknesses? I haven't uh, got two. Oh, you hadn't even gotten into it. I I read some of them and I was like, I'm discouraged from this, so I'm gonna. I'm had, turn away. <laughs> you hadn't even gotten into the weaknesses. Okay, so your basic fear is a fear of being worthless. That's 100% yeah. accurate, yeah. Yeah, your basic desire is to be valuable uh, and worthwhile. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, everybody does, though. Yeah, but not to the extent that they will go like very consciously in daily daily efforts to to secure that. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's just an observation. Yeah, yeah. Motivations is the want to be affirmed. To be distinguished, to distinguish themselves from others, mm -hmm. and to have attention, to be admired. <laughs> you better, you better love me. <laughs> well, and to impress to others. Be loved. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. okay. Yeah, but there's, and not okay. No, no. This is where I want. I think you're. Oh, are fun. you about to pull out some weaknesses? Oh, I got no. I got some more. I got oh. some more stuff for you, man. Oh, oh, I, I'm gonna keep oh, it coming. Your eight is starting yeah. to show a lot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out, dude. He's I he's got, like grinning, yeah, right, ready to oh, roast yeah. me. I am. It, it feels shoot. like we're on comedy central roast. I'm about to I'm about to manipulate the hell out of you, bro. Oh, dude. All right. So let's see. These are the three's addictions. Ooh. Uh oh. Or potential addictions. If it's got sweets in there, I agree. <laughs> okay. It says working out to exhaustion. Man, look at me straight in the face and say that's not you. Dude, I, don't, I haven't worked out in like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's BS, man. <laughs> and then uh, uh, starvation diets or diets in general. I've only went vegan for a year and a half or so. Is that? It's only been a year and a half? Yeah. Well, I did a year and a half. And then I dialed back and ate meat again as like a garnish. But yeah. Okay. I, I experienced that. Workaholism? Somewhat, yeah. Except this here says excessive stimulants. Like steroids. Uh, <laughs> not Co that, but cocaine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gee. Cocaine it, that was my it. past, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is like this is like what you have a propensity towards, not necessarily like what you actually do now. Stimulant? I I would still see be it's something growth based. Like I have to be achieving something every day. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I so told like you today. Like, yeah. Yeah. I woke up today and was like, I did a little proposal, sent down an email, and I was like, it made me feel good. Yeah, yeah. just just knocking something off the list, right? right? And that right. this is what exudes you in so much. So, like when before we were talking about doing this test, I was like, you're a three. 
Yeah, you did. You did call it out, and that's what you text your number, yeah. and I've been holding my back all day because I know he was going to say, "I've told you." Yeah, just like an eight would. And I called you out as being a seven, by the way. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. he did. Huh? Yeah. It's just. <laughs> it's what eights do. It's what eights do. Right. You're, just, you're just cocky. Then, <laughs> yeah. I got to put my finger on no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this. Got to put my finger. Got to put my finger on this. I got to yeah. control the hell out of this. <laughs> yeah. that's, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And then uh, for. For you, um, I wanted to read, and I'm going to go back to seven two. But um, so they have in, in the enneagram, they have like healthy levels and then unhealthy levels. Mm -hmm. So like what you exude when you're in a healthy state, and like mm -hmm. what you talked about earlier. And then so I'm going to read at your best, Spencer. You're self accepting, inner directed, and authentic. Everything that you seem to be, you're modest and charitable. Mm -hmm. And then you're self -depre deprecating hum humor, so you're modest. Yeah. And then your fullness of heart emerges you're gentle and benevolent which i remember at the gym this morning what did you tell me i said I'm, I'm more humble and loving than probably anything i'm surprised that didn't pop up as my yeah my trait yeah so in a healthy state you turn into a nine Dude. which is my wife oh wow yeah that's very interesting well that just yeah. made me look real soft yeah no not so soft but really good <laughs> But, a, but a, kind of a kind of soft. It, no. <laughs> no, you're not you know soft. You're no. just a little just soft. A little. <laughs> yeah. I, think about that. No, I do. Is I don't know what to put on my hoodie now. You, you <laughs> add dynamics. No, you put it. You put you put three wing nine. <laughs> three wing nine. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's but that's it is dynamic. I think that's what you're. Yeah, gonna it's say, very right? dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, it is very. Good. Oh yeah. yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. That's why we got to keep you in that healthy state. Yes. And then, so I can't hang around eights. No, <laughs> you got to stay away from me, bro. Yeah. Spencer We're, is now starting, dude. I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me, me and Omar's gonna have another podcast <laughs> roll after right. this. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the average levels. Right. I'm gonna go straight to the uh, unhealthy levels. Oh, here. okay. Let's, uh -oh. yeah. yeah. Let's just go from good to bad. So I read level one, which is at your best. I'm gonna okay. go to level seven, which is two steps down from your worst. Fearing failure and humiliation, they can be exploitative and opportunistic. Mm -hmm. covetous of the success of others and willing to do whatever it takes to preserve the illusion of their superiority. Oh, wow. That's real. <laughs> Is that you know, next time we do this practice, let's do the <laughs> negative first. <laughs> so it leaves me on a high note. Right. Right? <laughs> but I, I agree with all that. Dude, okay, fine. I'm just going to go straight to the really bad then. Oh, uh -oh. I thought that was the No, bad. that was second from the bottom. <laughs> that was seven. All Level right, nine bad. Just twist the knife. Keep yeah, going. Oh, my God. Become vindictive, attempting to ruin others' happiness. Relentless, obsessive about destroying whatever reminds them of their own shortcomings and failures. Well, nah, I can't see Spencer doing that. Psychopathic no. behavior generally corresponds yeah. to the narcissistic personality disorder. Oh, please. <laughs> NPD, bro. Dude, the nine's going to come out before it gets there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would. I, I'm talking like that's, I think that's like DEFCON 1 type stuff. Oh, really? Right? Yeah, you would. That's yeah. really bad. Okay. That would, I don't think you would ever. Yeah, as long as I don't hang out with you too much. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do think. I do think the fact that you're a three would prevent you. You have so much control. Yeah, it would prevent you from ever getting to that to that night. I hope so. I'm always pretty cautious of what I, yeah. my attitude's like. You know. Yeah. Uh, while we're here, I wanted to go through real quick before we jump into the eight. Okay. I want to go to. Um, <clears throat> uh oh. I want to go. I want to go. Are we going healthy. deep on seven? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna jump back into the enthusiast, uh, healthy and unhealthy, real quick. Got that cattle prod out today. Yeah, I know, right? I know. That's what eights do, man. Dude. I bet. I'm in full control right now. I'm in I mean, full I don't control. Think we, even, we don't even have to explain what an eight is. I think everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> right. we get it. We, yeah, we, like, we, we get it. We, we understand now. We understand. Yeah. Right. All right, let's, eights. I may let's have to do it. The eight hole. Yeah, man, that's my basketball the number two right now. Is it, it eight? Is? Yeah. Is it really? I'm going to have to change it. <laughs> you are. I'm going to have to put eight hole. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, Omar, for you, the enthusiast number seven. Healthy level at your best, you assimilate experience in depth, making them deeply grateful and appreciative for what they have. Um, become uh, awed by the simple wonders of life. Yeah, you've talked about that a lot. Yeah. Uh, joyous and ecstatic, which also, you talk a lot about that. Yeah. And then uh, intimations of spiritual reality, of the boundless goodness of life. Why does those not sound negative? They're not. That's that's the that's the, the hell. Yeah. I was like, I thought we were. I, was I thought on. you were. He's hitting still counter prod, dude. Right. I was like, no, I no. just got shot. No, I'm, no, no. I'm going to go back because I'm an eight. I'm going to go back and, and just make sure to rub it in your face by oh, showing yeah, all the yeah. all the good stuff for him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm about to go. Oh, he's about to rub some salt in my eye right now. Oh so, yeah. yeah. I thought we were going to yeah. do this backwards. Just do I, negative yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. I got him on this high right now. The spiritual high. And I'm just about to chop his legs. Yeah. I'm about to do it right now. All right. Let's take a commercial break. You ready? Yeah. So the seven unhealthy. 
uh, the, on the level seven, desperate to quell their anxieties can become impulsive and infantile. Do not know when to stop. Addictions in excess and, and, ex, and excess take their toll. Debauched, depraved, dissipated esca- escapists, offensive and abusive. What What's funny is it says escapists. So when you get into stress yep. at home, what yep. do you do? I, I go. For how many days? Uh, five days. <laughs> he takes a vacation when he's stressed. <laughs> it's not even like, hey, I'm going to check out for an hour and a half. No, it's like, no, I'm I'll booking see, a trip. Yeah, I'll I mean, see you next I'm week. I mean, what did he say earlier? He's like, I'm about to just take trash control off. I'm just about to rock <laughs> this thing. It doesn't matter what direction my car is pointing right now. Dude. I'm launching right now. <laughs> Dude, this is you, man. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. So I'm going to go to DEF CON 1 on you. I'm oh, going to go to the. I just want to see what it is. Finally, their energy and health is completely spent, become claustrophobic and panic stricken, often give up on themselves and life, deep depression and despair, self destructive overdoses, impulsive suicide. Generally corresponds with a bipolar disorder and histrionic personality disorder. Dude, he literally just said bipolar earlier. I did say bipolar. <clears throat> wow. He I literally not, did. But I am not bipolar. I that was, yeah. no, that was hyperbole. Like, you yeah, were, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but he fun. related it to like circumstances yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. this is related to the DSM-5. And this is, DSM-5 is a personality test used by psychiatrists. Okay, okay. But so there, there's a link. So yours is, you're really bad as BPD and HPD. And yours is NPD. And what yeah, is that again? Narcissistic personality disorder. Oh, thanks for that one again. Yeah. And yours is history. <laughs> I don't know why I asked that question. <laughs> yours is histrionic personality disorder and bipolar. And then mine, I think, is just called douchebag personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DV. <laughs> mine is, just, I like rubbing it all in your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You crazy. So, I mean, <laughs> this is funny. It's just wildly accurate. It is, it is man, it, which is kind of scary. It's kind of scary, but at the same time, I'm like, is this like a fortune cookie thing? You know what I mean? You talking about where it's like a self fulfilling prophecy? Waves. Like no, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what do you? Think? You've seen the color red, and it's like, oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh you know my what? god! Right? You know yeah. yeah, but they're on to something. Are they, <laughs> are, <laughs> they're on to something. Are they actually fortune cookies nowadays, or are they just advice cookies? They're advice cookies. Yeah, yeah. Because they all, you are a good person. I am a good Dude, person. You ever I played the person. fortune cookie game where you just have to say in bed? Oh yeah. Everyone? Oh yeah. <laughs> It's so, like his an imperfect. <laughs> yeah. You're a good person. In, in bed. bed right? Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. And you're like, I am a good person. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, definitely want to buy myself. That's <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, but, that's, uh, that's staying in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there was no cussing, so we're good. Yeah, we're still in the realm. Oh, we're yeah. Still Dude, we created boundaries and we're freaking sticking to them. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Absolutely. We should be proud of ourselves. What number is that? Uh, number of what? What number of what? To be like just, just ha- genuinely happy for yourself. Is that a number? Yeah. What I mean, number? That's seven. That's oh, is it? Se- yeah. Oh, I need to be more like a seven. Yeah. That's uh, seven and six and then two. Two? Yeah. I, I, would, I, we, I want to go into the other ones, but I want to get through. Okay. Let's, let's get. Yeah. Let's, let's, no, let's roast you a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Let's get I'm on about that to look up what yeah. eights are. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at the screen while I'm while Yeah. I'm let's. My... We're... Oh. So let's, I'm going to read. Let's fact check this stuff. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask Siri. Oh, I'm not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So I, I'm going to say. So type eight. Um, so type eights are, um, their basic fear is of being harmed or controlled by others. Um, so the eights are self-confident, strong and assertive, protective and resourceful and straight talking and decisive, but can also be egocentric and domineering. Mm. That's not that's, true. That's not at you at all. That's not true. No. Eights feel that they must control their environment, that's... especially people sometimes becoming confrontational and, and intimidating. Eights typically have problems with their tempers. <laughs> no, this test is full. All right, dude. This, How this, dare this, you? Yeah. yeah, this is not even right. With, right. And and with allowing themselves to be vulnerable, so they they have problems with allowing themselves to be vulnerable. Also, totally BS. Yeah, yeah, not true. No, at their best, <sighs> at their best, mastering they use their strength to improve others' lives. That's right. That's right, fellas. <laughs> I feel like I got my ass kicked in here today. You're right. Becoming heroic, magnanimous, oh, and inspiring. I didn't hear none of those he big said words magnanimous. on my end. I think he held that. <laughs> right. Let's fact check that. Now. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly yeah. an eight. What, this, eight yeah. right. But you don't notice as I've written this all myself. Yes. <laughs> this is just, you're reading it from a notes page? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the basic fear is of being harmed or controlled. I think mm-hmm. I've even talked about that on the show. Yeah, yeah. That's been, and we've had conversations about me fighting or, uh, Working through getting, mm. ang- you know, the impulsion of anger. Mm. 
And then the basic desire is to protect themselves or to be in control of their own life and destiny. Yeah. And I've told you through this experience, this transition, this work transition is really what's been throwing me in right. the loop because all this has happened because I haven't had full control over. And we've talked about it's time to let it go. Right. And I, yeah, and <clears throat> we talked this morning at the gym about like mm-hmm. I'm getting through that. It just takes time. Okay, so key motive. <laughs> What? Let's go to your dark side. Yeah. yeah. Let's just go down. No, the we, we got to go through some more good stuff, y'all. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. We Let's gotta, get to the dark later. I got yeah. 57 things to read on the good side. <laughs> so, so the, the right. example, the eight, uh, eight in the world are uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, uh, Oscar Schindler, Fidel Castro, oh, hmm. Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Lyndon B. Johnson, Mikhail Gorbachev. Um, Mikhail J- Gorbachev. I haven't yeah. heard that name in a while. Yeah, I haven't either. Martin and Luther King is the only, only, only the, good one, the, the rest are just ruthless communist leaders. Uh, Some of them. Did, what you, are, did you say Stalin? Just no, Stalin? but no, Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro. Oh, yeah. so Michelle, Michelle Gorbachev. Gorbachev I, nailed it. Nailed it. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, good job. Okay. One, one of them. Is, I, I will get those. Too many syllables. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. get it. Um, M- Mikhail Gorbachev. Yeah, yeah, you got uh-huh. it. He was the leader of, or he was the president of Russia. Yeah, oh, wow. for a while. Yeah, yeah. Then he stepped down, and that's when Putin took over. Don't oh, ask me how okay. I know these stuff. Don't don't ask me. I don't know why. Yeah, that's just that's cool. Yeah. That's I would yeah. like to see these personality traits linked to like serial killers, murderers, <laughs> and robbers, and people in prison. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that research. Yeah, we would sure. have. That's the spitball session. We're a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hop into the, okay. the, the the at their best and then at their worst. All right. At their best, they become self restrained and magnanimous, merciful and forbearing, mastering self through their self surrender to a higher authority, mm. courageous, willing to put themselves in serious jeopardy to achieve their vision and have a lasting influence, may achieve true heroism and uh, historical greatness. <laughs> just pop uh, the collar, dude. Right. Just, just, just get it out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Now back to the unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Def- I'm going to run, scared to read it. Defying any attempt to control them, become completely ruthless, dictatorial, might, uh, might takes right, the criminal and outlaw, <laughs> renegade and con artist, jeez, <laughs> oh, hard-hearted, immoral, and potentially violent. That's just a seven, bro. So that's potential. That's, that's not even all the way at the bottom. No, I'm, gonna, I'm about to read like that. Because I'm about to say, like, you're, you're all trying to feed me pixie sticks and candy. You're <laughs> fat. <laughs> right. Dude, you, have, you don't even know what's in there. No. No, it's pure estrogen. Ooh. <laughs> that's why I've been sensitive. <laughs> right. These shirts, I'm like, is this 100% copy? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Rub me wrong right now. Nailed it. Yeah. And oh. then uh, this is DEFCON 1. If they get in danger, so if their back's against the wall, they may brutally destroy everything that has not conformed uh, to their will rather than surrender to anyone else. Vengeful, barbaric, and murderous. Dude, we just, I what? just said wow. that. I knew you would end up in prison. <laughs> no matter what. Jeez, I, I hope not. Yeah. And then uh, sociopathic tendencies generally corresponds to the antisocial personality disorder. Oh, my gosh. So, so antisocial personality disorder narcissistic personality disorder and bipolarism bipolar and histrionic personality disorder yeah. whoa so those are like yeah. super severe uncontrolled so if we just went by those labels and we had a podcast i don't think anybody <laughs> <would> listen to <laughs> it <laughs> right. yeah. dude but let's let's right, add let's... more depth to this yeah, yeah. yeah um these these characteristic traits are the bottom of the barrel is it's not like yeah. these are like at the this at is the not top. what we show every day right but it's the possibility that we could get there right. living an unhealthy lifestyle right. yes so again it, this goes back to understanding knowing you know knowing these characteristics you mm-hmm. know having awareness of what's going mm-hmm. on to try to prevent you know a lot yeah. of these characteristics from coming out so yeah so we're we're doing this for a a specific reason. We're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're laughing and joking about it. Yeah, but yeah. At the same it's time, it's we real. To bring awareness you know, to it. Yeah, we we definitely found out who Evan and Omar were today. <laughs> I gotta I gotta create another friend circle. <laughs> right. Uh, but dude, I'm talking. Yeah. Right. Dude, I'm talking. Right. But it it does you know put some things in perspective and let us know how to how to navigate moving right. forward so we don't get into the negative and unhealthy states of our aneurysm. So what is this? The enneagram. The enneagram. enneagram. Gosh. Yeah. I mean, I think. The point here is, is the reason that we did this and we'll continue to do this is that we're looking at ways to potentially learn more about ourselves so we can apply these to our personal and professional and communal yeah. relationships. I mean, 
I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Just the way I don't go to level nine with my <laughs> wife. Right? Yeah. And uh, she and I use it out every day. Now, Nicole will send some of these. I showed you this morning, Spencer, kind of what it does. And it's just an interesting personality test that allows you to kind of expand and be mindful of, of who you are and then have these brilliant conversations with yeah. your friend group. You know, Right. I, I mean, I was talking to this the other day with a couple of buddies going to our basketball game, and they were saying um, they're kind of in government work, and they do these tests so that way they can coordinate with people in their office mm -hmm. that are like super geniuses, but they're introverts, right? right? So they're like, how do we get this knowledge out of this guy that doesn't want to talk and put it to life? And right. so they have to take these tests to learn how to communicate. connect and yeah, yeah, communicate with them, yeah. collaborate. So yeah. this, this may be one of the applications is to be able to apply that, uh, you know, in that type of scenario. I mm. mean, it's helped me in understanding that my wife's a nine. Like when when I am an, am an eight, I am assertive and willful. Right. So I'm like, I want to I like physically get passionate. Yeah. And her first thing to do is to cover up. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like, no, I want to talk about it now. Let's talk about it now. Yeah. And she's like, no, no, I need to wait. And so I who, used to get who wins that? I mean, it used to be that, I mean. You had to win no matter what? I had to win no matter what. Yeah, oh, it was true. But yeah. now, like, knowing this, and she made me take it a couple years ago. I didn't appreciate it as much, but I think it took, like, a nine-week course. And now I know that, like, when she starts to exude that physically, I back off. Mm. And we just, re I think I talked about that in our first episode about mm. parenting, about how I have to back off and we'll come revisit. Mm. So funny story. <clears throat> I just thought about this because w when I was, when we were talking about w when you text me, like, Hey, we're doing an Instagram. You need to take yours. We need, you know, we kind of yeah. want to talk about it on the podcast. I took mine and I told Nat about it. And she's like, huh, remember we did this a long time ago. I'm like, ah, it's been a while. I, I can't remember yeah. what, what I was, but still came out to the same number. She, it she, was, yeah. She saved the screenshot and I came out at the same number. And, and funny enough is Nat is an eight and I'm a seven. Nat's an eight. She's an eight. So, the same way, the same way when, you know, when we have a disagreement about something, yeah. she wants to talk about it. I'm like, not now. Oh, yeah. You, you check out for days. Yeah, you I check out yeah. for days. <laughs> so that makes sense. Yeah. So it makes a lot of sense that, like, with Nat, it's not because she has an own tenor thing. It's like her natural character. Right. Right? Mm. right. And so if we recognize that, I want Chastity to take it. I think it'd be interesting to see what her numbers. I, I, want, I want to find out what numbers are supposed to match better than others. Is, is yeah, that a thing? No, 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 that is definitely a thing. But what's neat about this is if you go on the website, you can say, what if like, you could say an eight married to a nine? Yeah. And that'll tell you, like, it'll your success rate or. No. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like I mean it's too late for that party. Or, or you two, have a two oh, yeah. percent success. We've been rate. together eighteen years, so hopefully Yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. yeah you're in, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're in. Yeah. It don't matter what number yeah. she is. Right. Yeah. yeah. It does say like compatibility with other types, like eights in relationship with eights, like it says don't do it. Yeah. There's fist fights. <laughs> yeah. It sounds to be a lot louder, I would yeah. imagine. Right. Lots of uh potential trouble spots or issues. So, like you can go in here and check it out. Like uh, what we'll do is we'll leave a we'll leave a link in the description at the the Enneagram Institute dot com if anybody's interested in taking the test. Yeah. But uh, outside of this conversation, we do have some interesting news related to the podcast. And you guys want to share it? The, the website or anything like that? Oh yeah. 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 Our website's up. So yep. go check it out. You know, it it gives more insight as to, you know who, who we, we are. are. Yep. Um, our merch line is there, so feel free. You know, vulnerability is power. You know, we, we definitely want you guys to understand, like, when you're when you're being vulnerable, that's okay. It's, yeah. it's That's what we're here for. But anyway, grab a T-shirt, grab a – we got mugs, we got hoodies. Coffee, hoodies. Yeah. 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 When you're wearing it and you're representing, you know, it's one of those things to let people know. Other men, women – I know there's a lot of women listening now too, but mm -hmm. we you are that person that right. can be vulnerable and be open ears and compassionate and show empathy for somebody, you know? Right. Yeah. It's a great way to support the channel. Or to support the the, the cause, um, it's going into summertime, so we have tank tops as well. Mm. Uh, so visit uh, do let's talk podcast dot com, uh, visit enneagram institute dot com, um, come check out our YouTube channel and all our, yeah. our other social media links. We're yeah. over a hundred followers now too, just on YouTube alone. Yeah. Like yeah. Thank, thanks yeah. everybody out there. Yeah, yeah we thanks appreciate for that support. Yeah. We really do appreciate that. Check us out on Instagram as well as TikTok too. So we we like to upload there to give you kind of a sneak peek as to what's going on. Yeah, uh, I think we. We may start uploading a lot of our our uh, after party there too. Yeah, yeah. you know we, we want to let our head down too. You know we yeah. we like to talk serious, but at the same time we like having fun. So yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So part of the on on Apple Podcasts and Spotify we have Dude Let's Talk Plus, which as Omar's mentioned yeah. is our is our subscriber based content, which is whether we film before or after um, uh, these actual planned sessions, and this is us letting our hair down, right? Yeah. We're just we're focused on just having fun too, because these are these are deep, right, man? Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, we can't always have a super deep conversation and not have some like you know comedy behind it too. So yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we got get to talk some smack back and forth. Oh you yeah, know what I mean, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, with that being said, we appreciate you joining us, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Dude, let's talk. Yes, sir. Out. Visit our website at dudeletstalkpodcast.com and let us know what topics you want us to cover. Check out our merch line and follow us on YouTube, TikTok, and Insta. Dude, let's talk. Real fine, real fine.